Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Shadows That Run alongside our car. This is a visual novel which was made in only four days and features cool writing and a lot of endings. Actually, I think six different endings to it and uh, was recommended to me. So let's go ahead and check it out together. Uh, let's start a new game. Whose eyes will you see the road through? Uh, road through? Eh, let's go with the guy, I guess. Uh, let's go with him. Got it! I put the pedal to the floor. The wheels screech as you pull into the lane, the car swerves, but it doesn't really matter. There's no one else out here as far as the eye can see. The abandoned station shrinks behind us until it's gone, and it's just us and the long road. The world outside the window passes by us in an abstract like the whole world's given up on having any meaning. We drive in silence. The game takes place uh, in a zombie apocalypse, but we're just, you know, in this car, so we're not gonna see a whole lot about that. Uh, after a while, you hear the faint buzzing of the power window being rolled down. You're sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies are just gonna hurl themselves at a moving car. Fair enough. Well, that was a thrilling conversation. So, I guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but what's your name anyway? Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's... Oh, what's her name? Let's go with Brunhilde. Brunhilde, what a beautiful name. Let's call her Bruni. Well, nice to officially meet you then, Brunhilde. My name is... Herbert. Herbert, that's your name. Okay. The car shudders briefly as we rumble over a series of potholes, but then the road smooths again. The humming of the engine reminds me of a storm brewing far off on the horizon. Beyond the occasional noises, we sit in silence. So, what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm. Oh. Yeah, good question. Wow, that's the first time she actually started a conversation. Guess I'm not so intimidating after all. What was I doing? God, what was I? A whole lot of nothing. I bet that sounds super impressive, huh? Just a scuffy drifter. Not sure she wants to hear that. I... Hmm, should I bend the truth or dodge the question? I will... <sighs> you know, it's a zombie apocalypse. Nobody will ever know. You know, probably my, my boss is dead. Let's bend the truth. I was moving cross country. Then everything went south. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Mm, yeah, well, it's my dad's car. Or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. Ah, guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. It's okay. The booze would have killed him eventually anyway. Oh my. Yeah, that's uh, quite the bummer. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Surprisingly, but much noise at the end of the world. Not much noise at the end of the world, my bad. Do you think we're, there's any radio stations left? You should check and see if there's some emergencies and stuff. I'd be pretty shocked if so. Reckon it couldn't hurt to look, though. Alright, let's see. Um, She's fiddling with the dial. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna find anything. Steady comes in, on out, it waves. Every so often the distortion gives the illusion of an actual sound, but then it goes right back to nothingness. Just then, though, hang on a second, go back down. I think actually hurt something. The noise is passing and out, then it's something comes in an auditory focus. Huh. That's certainly interesting. Is that mariachi? <laughs> Their faces fit so well to that. I guess it is. Ah! I can't contain myself. The sound is unmistakable. Horns blare joyously over the static in a stick fanfare, while a man's vo a sick fanfare, while a man's voice wails soulfully over it. I'm laughing so hard I nearly piss myself. Brunhild is nearly there too. That was not what I was expecting. Who's the hell out there running this? All of the music that would be left. Man. I sink back into the driver's seats, letting my mind drift to the music. The dissonance is almost comforting. As the fracture chords wash over me, I try to pretend that I'm lounging in a truck bed somewhere. Out in the sun, mid-afternoon, shirt damp and dirty from hard day's work. For a moment, I almost believe it. The music falls short for a few seconds before starting up again. Wait, isn't this the same song again? Uh, it's probably an endless loop, because why wouldn't it be? Sure seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. What do you think a zombie even listen to? Is death metal not too obvious of an answer? It kinda is. Rob Zombie? Or maybe they're all into baby metal these days. <laughs> I don't know. I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. You know, I've always wondered this, but what are the Grateful for? Yeah. Good question. The Grateful Dead. What are they grateful for? Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? I wish they let the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now anyway. 
Well, except for that. I shake my hand at the radio controls. So, what are you into anyway? Music-wise? I really like Alanis Morissette, top 40 hits, that sort of thing. You, and don't tell me it's baby metal. <laughs> Will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? Nope, that might be for the best. What do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into some Stones or Marley or something, but... Well, you probably actually judge me more for this. Try me. Abba. <laughs> Just as I thought, she starts laughing at my expense. It's a nice sound, though. I'm not gonna be poetic and say that it sounds like music or anything like that. Still, it's good to hear. Told you. No, no, it's fine. Their music's catchy. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents? Sheesh. How old are you anyway? You seem like a bit young for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question. Good call. Except for that one. I'm 22. Hmm. Shit. God, that's so young. She's practically a kid. What was I doing when I was 22? Still wasting my life, I reckon. Wonder if she's even been to school. That young and the whole damn world's crashing down around her. I try not to make a face, but I can't see my knuckles going wide as my fingers grip harder into the wheel. This music's kind of similar to Abba, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? It's mariachi! It's not- it's, What are you talking about, woman? You should be happy to have it. Let's show an optimistic take on it. Alright, enough of you. I reached down. Thank you. The, the the hissing of the music kind of made me go crazy. I reached down and turned the volume up to a sharp left, and the radio blissfully goes silent. Farewell, wailing man. Now it's just us again. Did you ever expect things to end up this way? It's getting dark, huh? The sun sets so late in the summer. Ignoring me, huh? Sore topic, huh? Let's go with sore topic. I guess she didn't want to think about it. Can't blame her. Yeah, I can't say my blamer, yeah. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the street lights and all. It's like the sky's just been saving up. Looks like a bit of a dying fire. Kind of fitting for the end of the world. <sighs> so dark. You never really told me what it was that you do. I mean, do you have a job or anything? Uh, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but hmm. What do you like to do or what did you do before everything? Actually, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, sure, go to work. Have a lunch break, back to work. Get off work, eat dinner, and watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And then the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. That was about it. I guess that's what most people's story. It's tough out there. Was tough. Probably tougher now. Heh. <laughs> all kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? You work damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? Ah, that's... that's quite a... Uh, yeah, hmm? Yeah. But I guess that doesn't matter either way. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. Ah. I used to travel a lot, looking for work and stuff. Suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad. Well, that sure is lofty. That's a, yeah, that sounds really cliche. Not really, it sort of suits you. <laughs> he seems so insecure and she's so friendly. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Go to the point I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? Yeah, monkey's paw. I don't think she knows I've noticed, but she's been pressing at her gut a lot. Ooh, wonder if she's still alright. Since I first ran into her, she's been in a rough way, and I'm not sure it's gotten much better. We probably should have looked for more bags of that ginger stuff. Ask if she's nauseous. Comment on her hand. Um, comment on her hand. You okay there? I point towards her stomach with the back of my hand. Hmm? Oh yeah, it's gotten a little better, but I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I do, but... Christ, I'm really not equipped for this. I know first aid, but I can't sit up and up a cut. Gastric distress is a bit beyond me. You think we should stop and rest? Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste gas. Right, the fuel. Everything wasn't so weird these days anyway. I'd call it suspicious that there was only a single tank's worth left. Wait, what? A single tank's worth left? Not much we can do about that though. Onward it is then. Well, let's hope she's not injured by a zombie or something. That would really suck. Do you ever wonder, like, why us? How did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? Huh, didn't I used to? 
Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. We're here, that's what matters. Despite all that, we're here and we're safe. The how and why it is just garnish on the salad. You know, I didn't believe that at first. I mean, that we're really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So the first couple of months I just kept working, kept on like everything was fine, and then... Well... Listen, you don't gotta answer me if you don't want to, but your old man, what happened? My dad? Huh. <laughs> so he needs more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they even wouldn't let him in in our nearby log liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another one. Just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed since he wasn't really any different from usual. Pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. Great, now I feel like I want to puke. Hey! Please don't say anything that's like that, Brunhild. One of us has to keep this up. Rest hand on hers, let her be. You know what, let's, let's comfort her, why not? I slide my right hand off the wheel. That's on the leg. Her hand is resting by her leg near the center console, so I reach over. Aw. Her hand jerks when I touch it, but she doesn't pull away. Wow. Her skin feels really cold. That's not good. I, I have some suspicious feeling. Is that normal? Maybe because the window's open. Maybe it's because she's sick. Really wish I knew a bit more about medical shit right about now. Actually, if she had a fever, shouldn't she be hotter? A chill like that can't be normal. It's not even that cold in here. But we're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume they would. But while they're still breathing, there's hope. Ha, ah, that's pretty cheesy, isn't it? Anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get it on with him, I bet it must be hard, losing someone that close to you. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, she's also like, it seems like she's sweating or so. It all happened so fast, I'm still trying to come up to terms with it. Come to terms with what? With your dad being dead or you being infected? Sorry, I'm getting paranoid and zombie. Anything zombie related, I'm always paranoid. I wouldn't worry too much, there's nothing, no wrong way to feel. I guess I'm always privileged, no one I care about has been around in a long while. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're stuck out there, like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Well, good question, I don't know. I... Just as she starts talking, the engine gives a settling, unsettling sort of rumble and my heart jumps. It sputters a few times and the whole chassis lurches. With a pitiful cluttering, the engine stalls out and the car can't do anything but coast. Crap. I noticed a few light click on some minutes ago, but I guess I still wanted to think we had more time. The car rolls down the pavement until it can't anymore and we amble to a stop. I already thought the gas would last a little longer than that. Bound to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? God, if I wasn't hoping for later. We bought this car used, after all. It's cost efficient, but not so much fuel efficient. I wonder how far the next gas station is. It'd be nice if there were some signs around here or something. I can't believe we've gone this long without seeing any. I haven't seen anything for miles. Even without people, without lights, I can't see how this could be. Like, civilizations just packed up and left the moment everything started to crumble, leaving not a trace behind. Even if there were, it's not like we could have seen them. It's gotten so dark, and without the street lights, Hey, how fast do you think you can run? I don't want to run anymore. About average, I guess. Do you reckon we should? Her hand touches down her stomach again. Oh man, she felt so damn cold. I don't know, I don't know if there's a point. Not much point to anything, not anymore. Maybe not, it's so damn dark anyhow. In all likelihood, one of us would probably trip and fall. It'd be pretty sad to make it this far just to die from a bust up face. Ha, please just smile. Yeah, it would. Anyway, there's nothing we can do until the sun rises. I stare at the window, the sky's clouded, but if I squint I can see faint lights in the velvet. The breeze through the open window is quiet and clean. Guess we're crashing here tonight then, huh? In more ways than one. Could be worse anyway. At least the air smells nice. Yeah. I sink back into my seat. I search around for the lever on the side so I can adjust the angle, but even while I yank on it, the damn thing won't budge. Used car, right? I try to get comfy the best I can. I only hope she can too. It's gonna be a long night. Well, good night then. It's so dark now. It's much different when I shut my eyes. I breathe in and out and wait for the sleep. I hope we see the morning. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 
she might be sick. Yeah, that is one of the uh, six different endings to this game. This was actually beautifully written. I don't know what happened though. There are several different endings. That was a really nice dialogue. I recommend you guys get the game yourself. Check it out uh, in the description below. Play it for yourself. Try something different. Maybe trying it from her side. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Much appreciated, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. I've been doing more creative indie games recently, and if you have suggestions for that, please leave your ideas in the comments below. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Let us keep going deeper into these ancient ruins. Wherever they belong to us, we might get some answers here. And I wonder if this ties in with Journey somehow. Um, hi. You, you're gonna have a look. Huh, interesting. Some old ancient civilization.